Hello everybody, this is GamerND bringing you another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. So, as you may notice, we are not stranded in the forest like we were last episode, because in fact, I did die, and I did die off camera, unfortunately, so you could not see my glorious, victorious death. But basically what happened was, uh, I tried to dig a hole in the ground as soon as I, you know, I paused the screen. Then I unpaused it and tried to dig a hole in the ground, but a skeleton shot me, then a creeper blew up. So, I am back here. I tried to reclaim my stuff, but it's just too far away and too deep in the woods that I couldn't uh, seem to find the spot again. So what I've been doing the past couple hours are just kind of, well not the past couple hours, just like the past 30 minutes, but I've just been trying to build up my uh, inventory once again. So I built... You know, I, I mined some stuff, got some trees, fished a little, all the basic stuff. And I think this episode, we are going to return to that mine shaft. Or, not that mine shaft, just that cave that we found uh, while venturing towards the swamp and go into that ravine because I said I would do that. And I think we have the right supplies for it. But before we do that, um, I gathered up all the excess iron just laying around in the furnaces and in the chest. Uh, and we are just going to quickly make some iron tools and iron armor. Now we only have 27 pieces to work with, so we kind of have to prioritize. So of course, we need our pants. That's like number one on our list. The next thing we need is iron boots, because those are also important. And I've kind of planned out how I would use the iron, so I'm going to make a helmet. And now I'm going to use the rest of it to make some iron tools. So, first of all, I'm going to make some iron pickaxes, which are useful if you're going to go mining into deep ravines and places like that. Uh, basically because you might find materials like redstone, gold, diamond, obsidian that can't be mined with a regular stone pickaxe. You need um, iron or above. So the next thing we will craft is an iron sword to protect us from all those monsters. And using the last of our iron, we will get a bucket to uh, water ourselves down the ravine. And of course, I have tons of torches. Sadly, we did lose the TNT, or yeah, we did lose all of our TNT, which is a shame because I've, I kind of had a, what is it called, like a brain, I don't know what it's called, but I basically forgot that we can light our TNT. We just, uh, we could have crafted a lever, a button, or a pressure plate using the materials we had and um, just activated the TNT, so... I guess I was wrong. You can use other stuff to activate TNT other than just fire and redstone. Ooh, that sheep is still floating there from when I pushed him in. I guess he likes swimming. Good, good sheep, I guess. Okay, let's go up here. Um, I really need to move the stuff from the chest and the in our cave house to our mountain house. I don't know why, but it seems like the mountain house seem I mean not the mountain house, the cave house seems more like homey, I guess is the right word. So yeah, I kind of immediately went there after I died to, um, well after I tried to reclaim my stuff. But hopefully our mountain house will soon have the same feel to it. Let me just get this coal. Every every material counts. Oh, I forgot to get water from the surface. What? Oh, that's a golden skeleton. That's a skeleton with full golden armor. That's that. Oh, that reminds me. I was gonna use. Oh wow, he actually dropped his pants. Wow. Um, but yeah, there's a. If you find a monster wearing armor, and if you kill it. Uh, there's a rare chance that you will get what they were wearing. So I got his pants. Even though they're kind of used because I've been whacking at them. So, uh, another one. I just killed your friend, buddy. And you have no arm. What? Another one? Another. 
What's up with all these skeletons? Well, at least we found the ravine. Hey, no. No, bad. That's illegal. It's illegal around these parts. Am I gonna die? I better not die. Ah, another one! Why are there so many? It's like a skeleton gang. They're like, uh, snapping in rhythm and all of that. I think that's what gangs do. I don't know, I'm not an expert on gangs. Ah, another one! This is a gang if, I, if I've ever seen one. Then this is it. Just look at all these skeletons. They're all just like... We're gonna take your stuff, see? We're gonna... Nah, I don't know. I can't do a gangster accent. Or maybe... I'm not sure. Alright, so... Apparently the skeletons are against us going into their ravine. So we're gonna have to find another way. I'm just gonna take some water while I'm here. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Ah, I'm having... I'm, I'm not doing so well. And, wow, I've already eaten, like, two fish down here. And we haven't even gotten to the ravine. No, 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 no. No, 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 don't fall off. Ha! Uh, I forgot water break... Tor water eats torches. Water break... Uh, never mind. Okay. Let me just kind of... Yeah, this is the surface. I'm just gonna float up and just take some water. Alright, now let's go down to that ravine. Where did it go? I'm not really sure. I guess I can wear the skeleton's pants as like a war prize. Ha ha ha. Um, the thing about golden armor is I tend to not use it that much beca because it basically, it offers you more defense than iron, but it's very low in terms of durability. As in, if you have like a, if you're fighting off like uh, a bunch of zombies, then your golden armor is going to protect you, but it's not going to last that long. It's going to break into pieces after, like, maybe 15 hits. So, it's kind of like a, like, double-edged sword? Nah. Nah, I can't find, I have to think of a good metaphor. I'll think of that later. Ooh, the gang is still down here. I wish I still had my bow. Hmm. And I, I'm just going through all my fish. I already... I already went down half of my fish supply. I just ate half of my fish supply. Okay. I'm gonna use some of this dirt to bridge my way over here. I know I said I was going to... No! No! Um... Hmm. This is a predicament. Oh, no, 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 I did not mean to log off. I meant to take the death like a... Man? What? Hey, I'm alive! What? I guess... I have no idea what just happened. I was going to uh, take the death like a man, and basically just... Ex like, like I said, just accept the death, because the skeleton got like a lucky shot on me. But apparently... The game is on my side. I'm not really sure if that's like a trick. If you log off while you're falling and log back on, if you don't take any fall damage, or maybe my armor protected me. Maybe it was the pants. My skeleton pants to the rescue. Either way, I survived. That's the important thing. Okay. I guess I can go down there. I'm kind of nervous though, because there are lots of monsters. I'm not gonna be planning on using that trick that much though, that uh that log off trick. It just seems kind of cheatery. Cheatery. Cheat cheetoy? I don't know. It seems it seems like cheating to me. So Oh wow, a zombie gang. Why are there so many gangs down here? And oh, I can't believe I didn't see this. This is emerald. It's the rarest ore. It only spawns in extreme hill biomes, which I guess we're in. Hello creeper. Uh do me a solid and fall in the lava. Um, but it only spawns in, like I said, in really extreme hill biomes. And it's extremely rare. Huh, <laughs> extreme hill, extremely rare. See what I did there? Anyway, uh, you can use it for trading, which we, we haven't found a village yet, so we can't really trade. 
But once we do find a village, we can use the emeralds, or the emerald that we just found, plus the emeralds we found in the, in the, um, the, the, whatchamacallit, the desert temple. We can use those emeralds to, um, buy ourselves some nice stuff, once we find a village, of course. Alright, let me check what time we're at. Uh, ten minutes. Give or take some. Is that gold? It is gold. But I'm surrounded by zombies. And a creeper. I wish there was like a distraction ball. Or a distraction thing. I could just like throw it. And- Oh, come on! Not again! Uh, oh. Ha! You fell! I win! Ha ha ha! You know, in, in a way. Oh man, there are so many monsters. Wait, oh, here's a rare occasion. If a skeleton shoots a skeleton, they'll actually start fighting. They will actually start fighting. So, as you can see, skeleton fight. Place your bets, place your bets. Creeper, where are you going through? I'm going for the leather armor. Yeah, I won. Too bad, Creeper. You owe me your life now. You bet your life. That is not a good move. Um, oh my gosh, there are four! Four of these, look, they're like doing the zombie, zombie Harlem Shake. It's, it's oboe zombie style or something, like a zombie music video. Um, uh, I don't know if you guys saw it then, but when I killed the zombie, uh, his flesh dropped on the floor and one of his friends picked it up. So if you drop, if you drop an item on the floor, no matter what, no matter what it is, um, a zombie will pick it up and try to use it against you. Uh, ha! Creeper! Thank you. The creeper... Uh, well, I guess he did bet his life, so, you know. Alright, we have to be careful around here. Um, this is a trick. Um, let me just get some water. I just went- we just went through three-fourths of our total food supplies down here. But the good news is, we found a whole bunch of new ore. I see some lapis lazuli, that's redstone, we just found gold and emeralds. Four new ores, one video, ba bam I guess. There's only one ore left, or technically two, but the other... But the one I'm looking for should be down here. The other one is in another dimension. So, in the next episode, we are going to find that last ore down here. Well, maybe we will, I don't know. And hopefully run into some more food. So yeah, see you guys then.